but you don't have to put up with it. Right now you're putting up with those thoughts, but you don't have to. Right now you're putting up with depression and anxiety, but you don't have to. You're in control of you. Jesus, you are all I ever need. If you're in the middle of it, the funk, and you just can't get to that peace, you got to get out of this. You got to get out of the mind because the mind is, you know, you say, hey, I command my thoughts into obedience to you, Lord Jesus. I command, I command my thoughts. This is my mind. I command you thoughts, leave, leave. I command my thoughts to obey me, to obey me, to obey God. So when thoughts assail you, when they are start to become intrusive and they take want to take over and you're just in spiraling and in a spin, just put your hands on your head and say, I command my thoughts into obedience to you, Lord Jesus. Don't let depression and anxiety have their way with you. You are stronger than they are. You have more power than they do because the powerful one is in you. Depression and anxiety must flee because you are stronger. You just believe in the lies. You're believing the lies. You don't believe the truth that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. But today's a new day. Today you're growing stronger. You're stronger than you were yesterday. And tomorrow you're going to be stronger than you are today. Just keep going. Depression and anxiety are, are, are cowards. They're bullies. They're just going to get you to squirm and, and worry and fear because that's what they do. And you just have to stop believing it. Believe that you are a child of God, that he's got your back, that he lives in you, that the greater one lives in you. The power of the most high dwells in you. You have to believe that rivers of living water are coming out of you to a dry and thirsty world. Rivers of living water are coming out of you for you to heal you right now. Just, just, just bask in God's presence right now. Just thank him for healing you. Thank him for his goodness. Thank you for, thank him for his mercy. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. And I'm walking out of anxiety and depression today. <laughs> Today's the last day I'm letting it rule me. I am taking authority over it. The authority you've given me, you've given me power and authority over all the plans and power of the enemy. Nothing shall by any means harm me. The devil's trying to harm me, but today I know who I am. When anxious thoughts assail you, you cast them down and command your mind into obedience to Jesus. Remind yourself and the devil that Jesus is Lord. You need to remind yourself that Jesus is Lord of you. Jesus is Lord over your mind. So the devil can't just take control over your mind when you have given that control You've given authority over your mind to Jesus. You decide you're going to think on what he tells you to think on. You're going to follow him and your mind is going to follow him. So your command now, you just have to remind yourself and command those thoughts into obedience until it becomes second nature. Till your mind, I promise you, will automatically do the right thing and be at peace and filled with the, filled with right thinking. It really will. This is, this is your future. Just believe. You're just retraining your mind. Your, your mind uh, isn't used to it right now. It's going to go where it's used to going. You just start retraining your mind. It's going to take time because your mind is on automatic. It just automatically starts thinking things. So you're, you're going to, by putting your hands on your head, hey, when you notice it, when you read, I command my thoughts into obedience to Jesus. They're not going to obey me right now because I'm out of control. So I'm putting my thoughts under control of Jesus. You know, right now that devil might not be obeying you. You could say, Hey, I command you anxiety and depression to leave me in the name of Jesus. And it may not because it doesn't believe you. It doesn't, it's not accepting your authority. It's not accepting your faith, but it will. You're growing. Your faith is getting stronger. You know who you are. You know, it takes time to, to, to renew your mind and to build yourself up. It takes time to become that new person. You know, you, you have a new, you're a new person inside. 
you have a new spirit in you, but the rest of you doesn't is used to acting the way it acts. So just be patient, be patient and believe that don't, don't worry, don't give up this, this anxiety will flee you just submit yourself to God, resist it. And it will flee. It will. Don't give up. Don't give up believing. Don't give up praying. Don't give up fighting. Don't give up fighting. Don't give up. Command it. When you recognize it as, think of it as the dirty. You wouldn't just keep dirt all over you. You take a bath, you get rid of it. You don't just, well, <laughs> these bugs, they can stay on me or whatever. If you had a spider walking on your arm, you're not just going to let it stay there. You're going to get rid of it. That's how you have to feel. That's how you have to treat anxiety and depression as it pests. You wouldn't allow termites into your home no you're going to get rid of them they're going to they're going to eat you out of house and home they're going to destroy your house you wouldn't let rats in your house or squirrels or pigs snakes no you're not sharing your house you're not sharing your mind with those thoughts anymore you're closing the door and saying and driving them out and closing the door driving them out and closing the door that's what you would do if you had a spider you brush it off of you and kill it that's what you're going to do with anxiety and depression, grinding it, fine as dust under you. But be patient. You have to grow into that person who believes that this is the new you, that you don't have to put up with it. Right now, you're putting up with those thoughts, but you don't have to. Right now, you're putting up with depression and, and anxiety, but you don't have to. You're in control of you. You just have to know it. You have to know that there's a power inside of you that can back you up when you cast that depression out. And don't cast it out and let, let it come right back in. Just wait till you get that word in you. Wait till you get, just give yourself, be patient. Then you're going to say no and mean it. And it's not coming back. This is your future. Amen. So when you, when you are in that funk and you can't get out, and you, you just don't know what to do. Just start. Jesus, I trust you. Lord, Father, I trust you. Jesus is my source. I belong to you, Lord Jesus. You are my source. I'm plugging into you right now. Jesus is my Lord and Savior, devil. Jesus is my Lord and Savior. I'm safe and secure because he has a hold on me and won't let me go. His love for me is sure, and it's my solid ground. I will not doubt his love and care for me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I am worth everything to the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, who gave his son for me. The father bought and paid for me with the blood of his son. I am priceless. If I were the only one on earth, God would have sent Jesus to die for me. I know that. I believe that. I am a child of the King. Today is a new day. I choose to believe God is for me, not against me. I choose to believe I'm perfectly and wonderfully made. I believe God loves me just the way I am. I am important to him. God has a plan for me, a good plan for me. He has a life for me, and it's only just beginning. I choose to trust that God is doing a work in me. I choose to trust God is molding me into his image. I trust God is working in me, even when I don't see it or I don't feel it. Amen.